Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to do Easter Bunny Nails. I love Easter Bunnies. They bring Easter eggs and chocolate. <gasps> That's how excited I was. I just cracked my knuckles and I don't normally do that. I don't even know how to. Don't start doing it! Don't crack it! No, it's horrible! No! So you can see I've already created an almond shaped nail and we're going to apply Urban Graffiti Gel Polish and it's this colour which is 968 like a lavender kind of colour going to do two coats of this and then I will top coat them as well making sure I'm capping the free edge so easy to cap a almond nail you literally just swoosh the brush around the end and pop that in the lamp top coat and then we're going to cure I'm going to use Prince Charming. Prince Charming, Prince Charming, ridiculous and to be scared of. And Magic Wand. Yikes. When you look at Prince Charming, it looks a lot paler than it actually appears when it is wet, I think. You see? The difference? Mm -hmm. Don't be deceived by the powder. And let's have a look at this. Mm, a little bit dark. So we're going to do the bunnies in 3D. I'm going to start with the body of this bunny on the left hand side. And I'm, all I'm doing at first is sort of doing a thin layer and that'll help me map out where it is all going to be. I'm using high speed liquid. I like to do it this way because then I can always add the bulk for the shape afterwards. I like to just get a thin layer down first and then I can work on top of that. Does that make sense? So I'm just giving it more shape. And doing his shoulder and the side of his arm. I'm saying him, I don't know if it's a he or a she. I've not really decided. I don't think it really matters. Now this is the back of the bunny. Bunny has sat down on its little fat bottom. It's got a fat ass. I wish I had a fat bottom instead of a flat one. Can I have some on my own? Okay. For free? It's for free. I'll pay you to have it.
and I'm just going to press into the back as if they are little stitches because this is not a for real bunny this is like a teddy bunny a soft toy bunny I call everything teddies you know when they are they like not? a soft toy. I just always call them some teddies, but they're yeah. not. No, they're, they're a plush, a plush toy or something like that. And I'm going to do some stitches here as well. And I'm going to do one ear pointing up. So it's like, I think that's the facial expression that you would do if they were both like, This ear is going to be bent over. And I'm just going to pop a bit of this pink on the underside so you know when you get a bunny or even a bear the ears inside tend to be a, a different colour so I'm putting that pink in there and he's going to have a pink tail He, she, so cute. And we're going to do bunny number two. I'm going to do the same as I did before. So I'm doing a thin layer first just to get this body shape.
and then we're going to do a blue well lavender whatever you want to call this color is it blue is it lavender i think it's blue yeah tail yeah Now what we're going to do with this tail, we're going to take Mega Gloss and put it on the bunny's tail, on this one. And the fur, I'm going to put some of the, the fur. Then we're going to cool that in the lamp and we're going to dust off the excess so the bunny has a fluffy tail how cute that now if you don't have the fur the other thing that you could do just to make it look a bit textured is you could put now i'm just going to use the new urban graffiti top coat on here And then I'm going to put some of the powder on. So this will give it a more of a matte finish. It'll be slightly more textured. And let that just sit for about 30 seconds before you then start to knock it off. It's fine. I'm just going to do that again. Tap the rest of that off, put that in the lamp. I'm going to dust off the excess. And that just gives it a little bit more texture. But I do definitely prefer the little furry one. It's so cute. So you can see I've also added a little bit of fur to the inside of that ear as it's coming over. And now I'm just going to put a bit of cuticle oil on. Obviously on smaller nails you might just want to do one of the bunnies. It's up to you. Have a little play. It's a little Easter bunny design. There you are, guys. We hope you've enjoyed that Easter bunny design. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Check my Snapchat out, which is Kirsty Meekin. No, it's not. It's Kirsty Nails. Oh my God, I can't even remember my own Snapchat. It's Kirsty Nails. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> should, should have played the triangle from <laughs> Oh, Or the, 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 the what's it? Not the drums, the... Bongo. No. Kettle drums. What are they called though? Kettle drums. No, you know, the things. Cowbell. No, the bomb bomb there's all different. It's like a Jamaican thing, and it. <laughs>